So I am the kind of person that is extremely fear motivated. And that manifests majorly when I am 16 years old on a family camping trip in Yosemite National Park. I am freezing cold in our cabin and I'm really, really afraid of the dark. And so I'm standing in our cabin just kind of holding myself and shaking back and forth from fear and cold because I have to go pee. And to go pee, I have to leave our cabin and go to the communal bathrooms that are about half a mile up the road. But it's not really a road, it's just a trail in the dark. My mom finally looks over at me and she's like, oh my gosh, I'll just go with you. So we leave the cabin and I'm still shaking and I'm really cold and I hear a noise and all of a sudden I pause. My mom's like, come on, come on. It's just car tires on the side of the road. There's nothing out here, you're fine. We continue to walk and as we're walking, I'm remembering the ranger talk that we went to because we of course went to the ranger talk. I had to learn everything about the park and potential threats like bears. Ranger Dan at the ranger talk said this, did you know a bear could smell an unopened can of tuna from over a mile away? If you have shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, Better be in a bear canister and not in your cabin. If it is in your cabin, the bear will find it and it will enter your cabin. Suffice it to say, after that talk, I had removed everything that smelled out of our cabin. We safely make it to the bathrooms after our walk. We dry our hands on this really loud hand dryer and we're walking back to the cabin and I hear that weird noise again. And my mom is like, come on, it was just the hair dryer. And now I'm like, but wait, before you said it was car tires screeching on the road and now it's a hair dryer. And my sense of fear has skyrocketed. My mom, however, is five feet tall. She has bright blonde hair. It's in pigtails. She looks kind of like Pick B long stocking. She's in these Nick and Nora flannel pajamas from Target. And she's wearing Birkenstocks. And she's decided to hop her way back to our cabin. And to hop, she jumps from the cement slab to the next cement slab that line the front of every cabin. So she's just hopping, hopping, hopping. And I'm trailing after her. She looks like a little Girl Scout. She's flying in the air. And her feet land on the cement slab in front of our cabin with a thwack. And of course, the call and response is, Ooh. Less than 20 feet in front of us is a mama bear and it's baby bear. And I know that in situations like this, the human body is supposed to fight or flight and I do nothing. I freeze and I feel like I'm chugging through mud because all of a sudden I look over at my mom and time speeds up and she's doing this. <laughs> And time slows down and I go, what are you doing? And time speeds up again and my mom goes, be bigger than the bear. And she books it, leaps straight, runs, rounds a corner, Pippi Longstock, pigtails flying, she's gone. And I'm alone, a 16 year old with a mama bear and it's baby bear. My brother comes flying out of the cabin with a pocket knife like Davy Crockett meets Indiana Jones and he's like, what's going on? And I throw him into the cabin, shut the door, and I wait for our impending doom. Smokey the bear is gonna just tear off the door and kill us. And we wait and nothing happens. <sighs> we take a deep breath and we're like, okay. And then we both look at each other and we're like, our mom's not with us. And we have to go back outside into the dark that I'm already afraid of, let alone on top of that, the bear. We spend 45 minutes searching for my mother, only to come upon her sitting around a campfire with a family that's flown halfway across the world from Japan and she's roasting weenies and marshmallows and she's like, what do you think of your American experience here in the park so far? And I'm like, <laughs> this is what you're doing after we thought you had died by a bear attack? This is what you're doing instead of coming back to the cabin? Okay, okay. My brother walks us back to the cabin and we're sitting in the cabin and it takes me a while to figure it out, but if you let it, 
fear will run your life. It will run everything that you do. It will change you. Every day sometimes I have to choose to be bigger than my fears and bigger than the things that scare me. Every day I have to choose to be bigger than the bear. <laughs>